right. So again, you might have got one of these flyers, courtesy of my, you know, of myself, Jonathan and Global G13. So again, Builder Clan campaigners, that's the mixture of financial literacy and hip hop. But this is where you learn to build, save time, drop a money rhyme, and shine. Okay, and again, this is episode four. What's your favorite business motivation book or also inspirational book? Jonathan might have some other books in, in mind. You know, he'll get to that. <laughs> and uh, also, uh, we'll be talking about financial literacy and the importance of Everest. <laughs> okay, so again, welcome to the Builder Clan Campaign or Zoom podcast where financial literacy and hip hop come together. Again, learn to, learn to build, save money, save time, drop a money rhyme and shine. Okay, and again, some announcements. There's the workshops, Monday through Friday, usually two to three workshops per day, 11 a.m., uh, 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, U.S. and Canada. Okay, workshop one, how to increase cash flow and debt management. Workshop two, building a financial foundation and proper protection. Workshop three, building wealth and asset accumulation. Workshop four, retirement planning and wealth preservation. Workshop five, estate preservation and wealth transfer. And again, there's the link at www.worldsystembuilder.com. Okay, and again, we also have introduction to the campaign every every day, seven days a week. There is the login information where you can register and learn more about the campaign. And also, we just came off the nationals, so there won't be another national till probably July. Uh, so we got G21 coming up. But again, three ways to qualify. Put 30 in the counter. Also, uh, level one base shop. So uh, two campaigners, 10,000 points. Or also three campaigners, three solutions. You're three, three, 30. Okay, and again, World System Builder, 30 by 30, that's 30 million families financial ed financially educated by the year 2030, part of this financial literacy campaign mission. Okay, and uh, just over the weekend, you can see us, we were out there in uh, California, there's me and my sister. Uh, again, we're always campaigning, so no, it doesn't matter if I'm at the beach, I'm at the hotel, I always got my flyers with me. Okay, and there's the family, there's my nephew that just graduated, Obasi, so he's out there in Thousand Oaks. And uh, yes, all of us have policies through this uh, financial literacy campaign. So one to be reckoned with, right? All right, and again, it's all about giving back. So again, WSB, we're already partnered up with Charity Water and Feeding America, but some of the other ones we added, Mental Health America, we know people definitely need that. And also Hope for the Children of Africa, and also Stop Asian Hate, Stop the Crime. Okay, and coming up this Friday, Everest Funeral and, and Concierge with Militia Louie. So again, our goal, we're gonna shoot it high. We're gonna go for 75 and see who show up. John's gonna throw a little house party. I'm gonna have a little party at my place. I'm, or, you know, we'll see what happens with Jonathan. I don't know where you're gonna do his party yet, but we're definitely gonna try to get as many guests as we can. And we know that uh, Team Kayil with uh, Uncle Phil and and, uh, and Jang are doing a little competition as well, giving away gift cards, whatnot. All right, and uh, campaign overview and uh, workshop, learn from the new generation. So there's the login information, the Gen Xers, and uh, even the, the ones that's after the Gen Xers, I don't know if that's Gen Z or whoever it is, but uh, all the youngsters is coming through sharing the campaign as well. Okay, and also shop at the WSB uh, shop at uh, worldsystembuilder.com. If you need agenda books, uh, pens, flyers, everything is there. And also the trifold is also there. Okay, so again, in the last 12 months, WFG paid $1 billion in commission. How much of that was uh, part of our team, which was Swan Win? who's our head coach, 544,606,148 in the last 12 months. That was during the pandemic, okay? So again, follow us on Instagram, boom, boom, boom. And we will talk about the Trainer Academy and a little bit about Nationals real quick before we start sharing about our books. And also, don't forget to like, share, comment, refer a friend, refer a family member to this uh, YouTube channel. And thanks for joining once again. All right, Jonathan. So actually, yeah, what we'll talk about first, since uh, you were able to listen to the whole thing, Jonathan, what you wanna share about the, uh, uh, either the Nationals or the Trainer Academy? All right, so, well, I went to, we drove to uh, LA okay. to go um, check out our South Bay um, Financial Center office over there in LA. And obviously, um, this is our only second time going to an office. The first time was uh, Sahara like a month ago. Mm -hmm. And then uh, um, it, it just feels good to, to see people like what coach said, like, you know, how they visited Texas and, you know, other places. It's, it's different. It's a different feeling. Right. You know what I mean? Like, like 
the excitement is different because you know there, there's actual people and you know you can fish bump uh, fish bump people and high five them and stuff and then and not only that you, you get to hear their story right, right. and then uh, um you actually inspired me because um like uh in our group like elite team um a lot of them just popping out of nowhere right You're like damn well, like who are these new people like you know building uh-huh. but it turns out that these people joined like 2018 right Right. So they're actually barely uh, exploding right now. So it gives me hope because, you know, I'm a new guy. I've only been here five months and I'm struggling a little bit. So I'm like, why am I feeling bad now? Like, you know, it took this guy this, this long too. But I didn't know that story because, you know what I mean? Like I haven't met these guys. I thought that they were brand new people too. Right. It's not that, you know, they had, the, they had their own struggles and, and only now they're, uh, they've been planting seeds though. And only now they're harvesting those seeds. Yep. So it feels good. So in terms of the, uh, the training, uh, I love Ping Ping. Ping Ping Medley is actually the person that uh, um, I, I went to a workshop and she was the, um, uh, the instructor that time. And then she's actually the reason why I joined. Right. Uh, and then I like, I like her story about her. Um, she shared a story that her 12, 12 year old daughter um, uh, rode a bus and then met this 85 year old uh, lady. And then uh, the daughter was like, "Mom, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta uh, present to this lady, right?" So Ping Ping is like, "All right, I gotta do it because my daughter said do it, right?" So they went and and um, you know, presented to her and, and show show her the campaign. And it turns out that she has a daughter in New York or somewhere in the East Coast that's in the finance industry too. And then she was able to sign her up. And then she has a sister that's in like like in Manhattan somewhere and then uh, uh, sign her up as well. And then they're actually two of her best uh, campaigners right now. Wow. So, so she was saying that never judge or never like prospect anybody young, old, because you never know. And it's really true. Like I I really see it now that when they say that um, uh, it only takes uh, you are one campaigner away from exploding. Mm -hmm. Right. So like I was thinking like, okay, now, like, you know, I will just share, just share, you know, like, it doesn't matter who it is, just share. Right. Right. So, yeah. So that's what I might, might take on the, on the meeting. Yep. Yep. I definitely agree with uh, Ping Ping. Every time she speaks, she's always, uh, the way she connects, you know, her stories always connect pretty well. And uh, she's always one of my favorites. I also like um, Kimmy Lee explaining how, uh, you know, when we go out and help families, how we help stretch that money. You know, so she shows, you know, the different uh, solutions she's able to provide the clients and gives the examples. It's always good to see it. You know, is your money safe? How much is it growing? This is what you put in. This is what you're getting out. You know, once you simplify it, all those instructors that they have at the Trainer Academy, man, it really stands out. Uh, And the other part that I really like is just the compensation. You know, every time they go over the compensation, I think it was uh, Mia Roselle that did the compensation, but just a basic breakdown. And we always see that like on a uh, finance Fridays or even uh, fast start Fridays when they do the conversation breakdown. That's always my favorite part. Um, I would show a few slides, but I'll give, uh, if anybody else wants to share, um, I know Jada was kind of occupied. So she was, she was doing the graduation completely the whole time. Um, but maybe uh, mama Mike Juanita, I don't know if you was able to anything stand out to you. Oh yeah. You, you got on uh, the mute. <laughs> There you go. I wasn't there. Let's see. I, I had the J-O-B and then oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. traveling yeah. home. Yes. Okay. Okay. No problem. Well, we'll, we'll fill you in. Well, you already know the conversation part. Yeah. Um, but here, I could, um, Chester, was you there or you, uh, was you also at work? Yeah, I was actually uh, doing Instacart and uh, working myself. But as in, I was listening in on it. Uh, literally, like, um, I like uh, Alicia Wynn's part. Uh-huh. Where she basically broke down of like why you really want to build a business like with, you know, World, World Financial Group, you know, as in like just the basics of that. Um, and then also, you know, this like a ping ping story, like this, you know, it's just like a awesome story. I mean, like literally, you know, we were literally one recruit from an explosion. So like, I mean, that's why I met her every day uh, deal as far as, you know, trying to get at least three to five prospects a day. You know, like I literally, um, 
I, what I did is um, I purchased the banners. Like I said, I have uh, two uh, retractable banners or whatever. Like, so as in, so certain places I just go up and set up, like wherever I'm at, like if, if I'm at the beach or, wow. you know, wherever I'm at, like, you know, it's certain, like I'm currently, I'm in Key West right now. So as in, um, it's, um, it's a couple parks where I can just literally like set up and pretty much prospect and, you know, so that's what I'm basically working to do. Like as in literally like my minimum goal is to literally get five prospects a day. So, uh, just trying to collaborate that and, you know, just build, Mm -hmm. but yeah. Yeah, that's always a good idea. If you got that, it's like a mobile, uh, like you said, if it's a retractor or whatever sign you can put up. That exactly. Way that, yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Yeah, I'm going to have to come, yeah, come up with that. And I got my campaign flyers. So, you know, like literally, like, you know, I mean, I always have my campaign flyers on me, you know, so as in, you know, I literally like the people that's really uh, receptive, I actually – get their names and numbers but if nothing else i'm like hey look you know we actually got a, a national campaign of financial literacy you know you know and but then the people that's really receptive that's when i actually get their names and numbers so, you know i actually send them the link to my personal site you know i, I don't know if y'all you utilize a campaign manager right you know, WP, you know which i mean i actually that's what i've actually used you know which i've customized my little site and, you know, I send them my personal site and then I actually send them the uh, link to the workshops. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, I just try to follow up, you know, because I was talking with Philip, you know, he was just saying with um, this is a lot of the the cold market, you know, which that's pretty primarily that's what I'm going towards now. You know, I pretty much my warm market, which me and my mom, you know, like um, our warm market is kind of <laughs> uh <laughs> It's colder than cold. You know, so um, I mean, it's kind of like you know. I mean, I'm just you know, I'm just making it, making it work. You know, so I'm just building, building as I go. You know, but as in, but with those, with the cold market people, I'm just literally sending them. You know, it's like a filtering process where I'm basically like, okay, you know, first. I send them to uh, the workshops and then, you know, if, if I can basically follow up with them, they actually showed up to the workshops. That's when I actually set up a one-on-one. So, you know, I'm just, it's just all about this, you know, um, I've just been trying to like make relationships here, you know, so like a little small little Island here in Key West. Mm-hmm. So I'm just trying to, you know, shake some hands, meet some people and this, I don't know, like, make some moves here, you know, but, um, I'm going to be all over Florida, you know, like I said, <laughs> I, I'll probably see y'all soon. Uh, <laughs> you know, More than Mike. I mean, yep. yeah, like, I mean, so it's, uh, I'm just, we just trying to make it work wherever, you know, I'm just literally fighting for real every day. But, uh, but yeah, thanks for letting me share. Yeah. 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 Thanks for sharing it, brother Chester. Yep, you exactly right. It's all about the hustle. You know, if you're in uh, Key West or wherever you might be, you're mobile. You know, so no matter where, you got those flyers, you can always keep campaigning. And uh, you're right about campaign manager. You know, there's already, like, um, pre-approved, uh, you know, if you're going to send out letters or any kind of information from Transamerica, it's already in there. So all you got to do is put in the email address and then just send them all out. You know, so that's always a good thing. Yeah, yeah, just um, um, you and I is actually, uh, uh, well, maybe a lot of us is actually going through the same thing. Like my warm market, I think they're pretty much done. <laughs> so I got I to gotta look for the cold market. And, and, and really um, um, going back to the Nationals, when they share um, uh, Coach Swan, uh, Swan Nguyen's um, bubble chart, a lot of them were cold markets. Right. You know I mean? And then like, I guess the lesson, um, the, the lesson is um, – Ne- never quit because a lot of his uh, um, when he built it a lot of his downline quit and then because they quit he would have had like what like CEOs right now yeah under them but since they quit then that's it they, they, they lose out they missed out on that so yeah not only that but whoever whoever he brought in if they quit that downline goes up to him goes directly to him yes <laughs> oh like a double loss <laughs> yeah exactly. not only, yeah not only, not only do you not become ceo but you also 
suffer, you know, what could have been, you know, so all that work you put in, you know, you don't want to see it go to, go to waste, but that's what happens sometimes. Um, but yeah, so with that, all right, you want to, you want to go, uh, Jonathan, with your books, we'll we just share a few, uh, you know, inspirational books, motivational books. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, okay. I Six guess I'll start. <laughs> Go ahead. Be careful. Right. Be careful. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. Well, um, I don't really have like business books to be quite honest. I mean, I, I was a business uh, management major. So all my books before is like, you know, for college. And right after I'm done, I, I think I burned all of them already. <laughs> oh. I didn't want to see them no more. I don't want to study. Right. So um, I, I like, uh, Auto, uh, autobiography books so you know i like i like uh learning about like people that i you know that inspires me like uh like uh dennis rodman right oh, like yeah. uh, I, have, I have his book uh his book about like you know how he started how how he was abused and how he was like an awkward kid you know what i mean he's always right. been awkward so like he was like an outcast kind of you right. know what i mean and then you know just working hard really and then uh i like basketball so i got mind games as well uh, Phil Jackson. I like Phil Jackson because uh, he's a philosophy philosopher kind of guy. You know what I mean? And and, and he's kind of like a, a, he does things differently. You know what I mean? Like he the way he put he put his uh, the team together and you know egos and stuff, right? So I like that. And then uh, obviously hip hop, right? <laughs> Tupac, Tupac. You gotta have you Tupac, go. right? So I love I love it because it's like magazine style. It's actually by Vibe magazine. Oh yeah, I should I should really like keep this because it but uh, might might be worth a lot of money now. Yep. So a good collectible. That's a good yeah. one. But you know, I got I got some decent ones. I got some Maya Angelou, Maya Angelou. Uh, oh, okay, poems, and then uh, you know, I have a dream speeches and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And then um, this is my latest one. I just bought this maybe like a few months ago. <clears throat> I bought it at Costco. It's a uh, um, you know Mr. Obama's uh, first. Uh, memoir so it's, it's a pretty interesting i just barely started right pretty right. good and uh <laughs> this is my fun one what is that one what is that one it says position of the day right wow so it's like it's like dates <laughs> like uh <laughs> like february 8th <laughs> Mama, february you know, february Mama, Mama, are you okay <laughs> february 4 it's called the kentucky derby look at that wow <laughs> Uh, Mama Macaonida, uh, when is your birthday? August the 12th. August 12th. Let's see what August 12th is. Wow. Uh, August 12th, the bench press. <laughs> For oh, so, so, so when we uh, when we were in college, I found this on on one of those like I think Urban Outfitters or something. And then I just, I just, we just bought it as a, uh, we didn't have kids then and we were in college, you know, so we just bought it as a coffee table, you know, fun book. So. Right. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, okay. Thanks for sharing, Jonathan. Deacon Jonathan's in the building. <laughs> All right, Johnny. How do you want to share? You any, any ideas or any books as uh, inspiration, motivational? Well, mine are just that. They're inspirational and motivational. Uh -huh. um, I don't have anything as fun as Jonathan there. <laughs> <laughs> like that last book, but everything before that, absolutely. But I'm going to share um, like memoirs of a resilient queen. You know, we need to be reminded as women sometimes, you know, that we can do it. This is a good book. If you uh, are looking for a good read, um, I think I got this on Amazon. So memoirs of a resilient Queen is a good one. Well, who's it by? This one is by, it's an anthology. Let's see. I forgot her name. It is by Miss. Hold on. Oh, it doesn't say. I don't know. The anthropology is a mix of everybody. It's like eight women put together this book. Got it. So, yeah, memoirs. Yeah. Memoirs so it's eight memoirs. different women. Um, the, and then there's the one that I found interesting, the Undaunted, Surviving Jonestown. Um, this lady named Jackie, she actually survived it. So oh, she yeah. talked about the horrific 
um, incidents that, you know, she had to endure, how she overcame, how it made her stronger, and she finally wrote about it. I went to a women's conference in San Francisco a couple of years ago that my job let me attend. Um, it, they were having it every year until, cause of course, COVID, but um, there's a lot of different women that are there that are sharing their businesses. So some are authors, some are starting a business, some are motivational speakers and that kind of thing. So that's where I got this book from. Wow. Is it, is it not the one with the um, like cult? Yeah. Yes. Like, don't sound, yeah, yeah, okay. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Yep, the Jim Jones um, <laughs> that happened in Jones. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. yeah, I was like, wow. Um, and then also from that same convention, I got speaking to influence. So how to get tips on how to speak. You know, we hear a lot of people in this business in WSB saying that they are shy, don't like to speak, as like myself. But, you know, to give you some pointers and hear some stories about how people overcome and how to get that courage up. So this is another good book um, by Dr. Laura Ticola. I actually met her and she autographed it for me. So she was really, really nice. And then, just for a good read, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Mr. Gerald Brooks. He does a lot of books that are more um, spiritual, but this one is on leadership according to 1 Corinthians 13. Mm. And this is a really good, quick read. It's really thin, as you can see. Um, but this is really good. Um, give you some leadership skills. Um, my pastor at my church, he does a lot of leadership meetings probably once a quarter. And um, Dr. Gerald Brooks came one time, or actually he's been there a few times, but this particular time he had brought some books with him and I thought this was a really good one, a really good point. Yeah, so, that, look, that look interesting. That looked like a good one. Yeah, it is. It's a really good book. So that is my share. Nice. All right. Well, Mama Makonita, anything you'd like to share? Any books? I, I know you- uh, gonna, The Power gonna... of Positive Thinking. Okay. This is Peel. That's- Yep. That's an old one. So I probably a little old school in this group, but I remember that, that was one of my favorite books. And it re it reminds me a lot of some of the things that coaches coach always says, right. you know, everything is a mindset mm -hmm. and you have to speak things into existence. Mm -hmm. So if once we get our mindset and we speak it on a daily basis, then we can make it happen. Right, right. That's exactly what he tells us all the time. That's the whole part of him saying uh, the articulation part. So mm -hmm. the more the more you speak it, the more, you know, it's, you start to see the fruit start to bloom, <laughs> start to manifest. So that's good. I see uh, Miss Beverly. Uh, are you there, Miss Bev? We're just <laughs> sharing books. Thanks for joining. If she might be in, she might be out. All right, I'll, I'll share a few. Um, just like Jahada was saying, this is a national bestseller, but uh, Influence, The Psychology of Persuasion. So somebody recommended this. This is actually really good, too. So I think it's along the same lines as what Jahada was sharing on that one. Uh, for philosophy, I use a little bit of The Art of War by Sun Tzu for business. You have some good ideas on war strategies and when you're going out there and, you know, you're trying to overcome the struggle. <laughs> uh, then also get into some uh, scientific uh, but like knowledge of self, you know, if you got to know yourself and then also um, you guys might remember Rich Dad, Poor Dad, yeah, that was a good one. you know, so how to how to make your assets grow as opposed to uh, keep coming up with different liabilities. <clears throat> and then this book helps too. 101 ways to promote yourself. I think Chester might be along the lines of this because he looked like he know how to promote himself pretty well. <laughs> but there's a lot of ideas in here, you know, whether you're doing actually a lot of the ideas as far as like uh, podcast, things like this, I get from these books. And then also. Uh, What's the author's name? Uh, this one is uh, Raleigh Pinks, uh, Pinksky. So um, this came out a few years back, but there's so many ideas in here. They, I mean, you can't go wrong. It's actually probably more than 101 ideas, but they have, um, you know, list yourself, teach a class, you know, to build up your network. It, all these ideas is to help you build up your network. So like podcasting, uh, direct mailing, uh, all these different ideas. It's just a trigger and, you know, it's like a jog, uh, what do they call it? Um, just to trigger your ideas. 
so that, you know, you never know what's going to work, what's not until you try it. And then also they have, uh, or I like the way of the samurai thing. I was telling Jonathan about this one, you know, how to live like every day is your last. And then, you know, my favorites, of course, building people by coach Swan Nguyen. Um, also our foundation, the X curve, saving your future. I always recommend that. And yeah, can't can't get uh the complete three without getting, you know, if you can see it, the system builder book. System builder. <laughs> so all those books is like um, you know, I kind of like going between a lot of them. There's also a lot of sports athletes. Uh, like Jonathan was saying, I got like Phil Jackson, Michael Jordan, um, so many books, but a lot of them I just, you know, take these ideas and kind of create my own path to get to the, whatever goal I set. But yeah, that's uh, it's, it actually blends in pretty well with this business. Um, but yeah, Chester, anything you like to share? Any books? Any anything you recommend? I would recommend uh, Psycho Cybernetics Psych by Maxwell. Uh, Psycho Cybernetics by Maxwell Martz. Okay. Um, it basically talks about a self image of like you know like how you feel about yourself. Um, one of my favorite books is uh, Thinking Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Right. Um, another book is uh, 177 Mental Toughness Secrets of the World Class mm. by Stephen Sebold. Um, It's really, I mean, it's a really powerful book. Um, also, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by uh, Stephen Covey. Yep, yep. Um, let's see. Um, as far as like, uh, this, let's see, um, hmm, that's, I mean, it's on top of my, top of my head, that's, I would say that's, I mean, because you all named, you know, Art of War, that's a really good book, uh, you know, uh, Robert Kiyosaki, you know, uh, he also has another one, uh, it's called The Cash Flow Quadrant. Yep. You know, it's another, you know, it's a piggyback of uh the the first one he had. Um, um anything John Maxwell. Oh, 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership by John Maxwell. Powerful. Um let's see. Anything Napoleon Hill. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, right. Yeah, anything um outwitting the devil. Um, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, that's all I can think of on the top of my head. I mean, it, it's, it's several books, but I mean, uh, most of them I actually, uh, read through, through this business, actually, you know, this business is actually, you know, I mean, I got, you know, I got my degree and everything, but literally like from this business, um, you know, from those books I've read, it's just like really powerful books, you know, like uh, the Saving Your Future book, you know, all of that. Like, I mean, it's literally, you know, uh, the System Builder, yep. all all the editions. <laughs> mm -hmm. Definitely. You know, the red edition and the green edition. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was uh, like five years ago, probably. or Maybe. Yeah. And then it's a... um. And it's the other book. I can't think of the name of it. It's a little small book. What's that? Uh, it's like a black and white book yeah. of like um, the, the truth or something like that. Yeah, the truth. Uh, the moment of truth. The moment, yeah, the moment, yeah, the truth. moment of the truth. Yeah, like I mean, that is kind of it breaks down of why of you know like you know like the the synopsis of this business of like what you're gonna go through, you know. So right. it's really good. Yep. Yeah, man. Thanks for sharing. Those are all good books. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. That moment of truth. It really is the moment of truth. <laughs> that's, when, <laughs> that's when they get real. You start reading you're like, oh, man, coach went through all this. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah. So um, that's that's the book sharing part. Thanks. Thank you for everybody for uh, sharing on that part. And then, uh, you know, this call tonight is let's kind of like a prep for the Everest one. So we got Militia coming on Friday talking to Team Kayil. And uh, she's going to be sharing more and more about uh, what Everest can do. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, I think I can share the screen now on this one.
There we go. So you can see it step by step. Um, and then when you get down to the bottom, that's where you would put in the quote. And I'll do it real quick so you guys can see it. Uh, We'll just say no, <clears throat> immediate, monthly, 15. No. See if it'll let me. You can see that, Jonathan. Pretty simple. Let me uh, just try to get it in there. Yep. I actually tried it earlier, too. Boom. There it goes. So yeah. that's a quote for like a 49 year old, right? That doesn't smoke, you know. And then basically within this premium, within that 50 bucks a month, that's also including, you know, your will set up, you know, uh, you have your Tenzing, which is with your uh, cloud storage and also, uh, you know, your advanced directives. So if anything happens, whoever your designee is, if it's your wife or another, you know, family member, they have access to all your file information. And then all they have to do is call Evers if you pass away, knock on wood, but uh, <laughs> if that were to happen, all they do is call Evers and then they take care of everything else. So again, you remember that story you wanted to share, Jonathan? Go ahead. Uh, yes, so I'm actually looking at, uh, at the, um, signing up my parents for Everest mm -hmm. because my parents, um, because of lack of lack of knowledge, they canceled the policy a while back. Right, right, right. This is when they, um, uh, around 2008, when the market crashed. So for them to save money, um, unfortunately, the first thing they did, like just like our other client, our clients, right? We have like experience like that. The first thing they'll do is cancel the insurance instead of canceling cable first or other expenses that not as important, right? Right. But unfortunately, my parents canceled the insurance. Right. And then as years pass by, they got sick. So now they're, they're actually not, they can't get insurance now because they're not qualified, right? Yep. So this is the last resort. So that's why I need, I need, um, I need them to be on this uh, uh, Everest. Right. And then uh, uh, also I want to get it myself because I want the Tenzing part mm -hmm. of it. Um, the Tenzing, uh, you know, so I could store all my uh, data there. It's like a cloud-based storage. So, and then plus I don't have a funeral plan too. My, my wife, she already got hers through Dignity. Her mom got it for her ever since she was, a, a, you know, a young Lucky for her, but I don't have one, so I need to get one. Right. Yep. And remember, yep. Tenzing is uh, unlimited storage. Uh, so videos, photos, you know, and you can pretty much pre-plan everything you would want to take place if you were to pass away. So like, uh, you know, funeral music, where you want to be buried, uh, you know, again, advanced directives, if you want to be on a ventilator or whatnot, um, you can set up all of that all in one spot. I'll show you a quick example. On um, this is like a demo that I started, but I actually updated it since then. Uh, since I started it, this is like a way a while back. But as you can just see, last will and testament is just step by step: estate administration and expenses, family information, you know, uh, whatever real property you might have, intangibles, um, trust. You can put all this in the trust. So once you get it all in there, you just sign and date it, get it notarized, and then it's solid. Okay, so that this is a this is like the first part before you put it in the trust, of course. But once it's all in there, that's how you're gonna bypass the uh, probate process, save a lot of fees for your family. So if anybody asks, well, why are you setting this up? 
is to save your family from the hassle. <laughs> you know, the headache of trying to figure out what you wanted. And uh, me working in the medical field, I, did, I have seen a lot of families, they get torn apart because nobody planned out anything. They're trying to figure out which family should get the kids, where families should take some assets or the money. And it's always, you know, a battle. And it's nasty too, it's real bad. Um, you know, and then if you do have to go through the probate po uh, process with kids, you know, they might end up in a foster care. Um, they might end up, you know, in a, in a place where you wouldn't really want them to be all because you didn't pre-plan it. So again, it's all about planning it out and having taken, taken advantage of the services or, you know, the membership that we have as, uh, with WFG. It offers a lot, but we just got to take it, you know, make sure we set it up learn about it through the workshop if you need information or we all help each other, we're all licensed to do it. So if you have any questions, we can set it up or refer you to somebody else to help you set it up. Um, but the key is as long as, it's, as long as it gets set up, it's not that expensive, but it's definitely uh, it's better than going through the hassle. <laughs> um, anything you wanna add on there, Jada? Um, I would just say, I'll piggyback off of that, that is true. Um, you know, you don't want to be caught in hindsight 2020, so to speak, because we always hear that same story. Um, you know, it, you told me or you're trying to tell me and now that something has happened, whether it's COVID or even worse, that they actually died and didn't get anything. Or maybe they thought they had something and then they come to find out no one knew anything. No one knew if they had a policy. So they may not even know where to look and who to contact to get the money in time to help pay for the burial. And also, did they have enough cur uh, coverage to pay, you know, to sustain, sustain the family? Will they save the house? You know, will they be able to pay for the children to continue in school or uh, pay off cars or whatever it is that they may have as debt and not to set the family backwards and leave them struggling, so. Right, yep, yep, there's definitely, and again, that tends in, you can put all your policies in one spot. So as long as, you know, your family has in internet access, no matter what part of the world they're in, they can log in there if anything were to happen and all your information is going to be there. So, you know, I mean, what, what else? I don't know if there's another service that's going to offer the full deal like that. I know there's other companies out there, but as far as concierge, uh, unlimited storage access for you to set up everything, it might not be a whole lot that uh, you might run into. Um, Chester, anything you want to add? If you have uh, the, uh, you know, any ideas on Everest that you want to share? Um, I mean, I, I think y'all pretty much covered it. I mean, I, like, I mean, I believe Everest is an awesome plan on the aspect of like um, having in the medical directors and um, as far as like the will and everything, like all in one. I mean, just, just that aspect of it alone um, is definitely worth it, you know, because I mean, just... Uh, if you would just go get that alone, I mean, it can cost you a lot more money, you know, so just having a funeral concierge package, you know, with the concierge and then like also like, I mean, with us, you know, being a traveling organization, you know, like, I mean, if you, for something, you know, something happens like where you're overseas or you're somewhere else, you know, Everest, I know, like they were saying, as far as it would transfer the body from, um, from A to B, you know, so meaning like if we in, you know, Dubai, you know, if something happens, you know, I want to be buried, you know, in Tennessee, right. you know, um, it'll transfer my body from Dubai. To, to, to the sea without, you know, paying that ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars to transfer my body. Right. You know? So, so uh, I think that's that's just awesome, you know, and it's it's very affordable. You know, one what it says one to two dollars uh, a month, depending on you know your age. Right. You know, so you know it's it's really good, but that's that's what I would like to add with it. Nice. Yep. Mama Macronita, anything you want to add? No. <laughs> you think it's a good you think it's a good uh, company, a good plan? Uh it sounds good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. So it is, you know, it is uh yeah, it's one of those solutions that uh WFG, you know, if you're helping a client and like Jonathan was saying, if you have a client that can't really get approved because of maybe health issues or sometimes, you know, it might be different things. So if they don't get past that process, this Everest is usually a good backup. 
You know, there is okay. a phone interview. As long as they answer no to the first four questions, they can still have a, a, a chance to get the uh, Everest uh, policy for their family. You know, if anything yep. were to happen, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, it's definitely better than nothing. Um, let me just add real, something real quick as well. Uh, and also you get your money like 48 hours within 48 hours. So right. sometimes, you know, the policy might not, if you have li life insurance, which is great, you might not get the, uh, like the benefits right away. At least Everest will take care of that, uh, for you. And then Chester is right. Like, that's another thing I like about it is like, if you're traveling abroad or overseas, um, you got into an accident or whatever, something happened, at least somebody can call and then they will take care for you to get back here. Right. So that's, that's another thing. And then uh, um, uh, the medical directives, man, uh, people kind of don't really think about it much because, you know, we don't think, we don't think that, you know, people don't normally think about stuff like that. Right. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, another story is my, my father-in-law. Um, um, <clears throat> he didn't, he didn't have insurance. He didn't have any medical directives. He doesn't have a will. He doesn't have anything, pretty much. So um, <clears throat> pretty much my wife has to uh, um, decide for, for him or for the family because the wife didn't want to do it, don't want to decide, right? Because I guess, you know, she don't want to have the burden of the guilt or, or be blamed by the family. Right. So we were on our 20s during that time. And my, and my, my wife, my girlfriend at that time, she's... We're not married yet, but uh, she has to decide to, to pull the, the plug for her dad. And then, and it took her a while to like, you know, get over that. Cause you know, like I said, uh, the guilt. So, you know, since there's no instructions, you know, we overlooked that, but it's very important. And then that's why my wife and I, we, we, we took care of it right away because uh, we don't want our kids to go through that. Yep. Completely agree. Yep. So yeah, it's like a, um, kind of like a gap insurance. So, is, you know, it's a whole life. So if anything does happen, it is paid out within, you know, two to three days. Um, so while you're waiting on the insurance money to come, you don't have to worry about the family going into debt or trying to come up with funeral home needs that money. It's already going to be there. So it's just, it's just a phone call away. That's the first place you would, they would call and then boom, they send, the, they send the check to the family. Okay, so with that, we set all that up. So we can uh, close out the show in style. If Chester's not aware of it yet, he's about to get a taste. <laughs> so we, you know, we, we come up, you know, definitely sharing the Everest and everything, you know, that, um, that is good for, but now we come with the lyrics. So this is where we do the MCM part. I create some lyrics. Jonathan is going to share his lyrics. Jada is going to share her lyrics. I'm going to share my lyrics. Then we're going to try to do it to a beat and close out strong. Maybe uh, Mama Macronita, she might have some lyrics. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay maybe not you know but whoever's on you know we just invite everybody some people want to share some people say ah, i think i could do it but again it's only it's very little rehearsal but we, we do it to have fun and to share the campaign and to share the knowledge you know this might be an easier way for you to help help you uh remember evers who knows and then also remember this friday is 6 p.m pacific standard time Melissa Louis, she's going to be doing the Everest, um, you know, a, a quick overview, probably within 45 minutes, just like she did last time. So we're going to invite as many people as we can, try to get as many families exposed to this information, because uh, a lot of people are just still sleeping on it, you know, with COVID and everything going on. You know, people think it went back to normal, but there's still people, you know, not making it because of COVID. So they're going to need some Everest and going to need coverage. So that's what we're going to do. All right, Jonathan, I think you got verse one. I'm going to share the, uh, share the screen real quick. And then we're going to close it out like this. <laughs> All right. So, Chester, are you ready for this? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Just a heads up. So, again, Jonathan's not a rapper. Jihad is not a rapper. But, you know, I, I put together a few songs, a few, few albums, sold a few albums. But basically, today they're rappers, right? Might not be the best, but they changed their name. So, you got Deacon John. You got Global G13. You got Old Wisdom. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to give you the verse, but the verses without the beat, and then we'll come back with the beat. So, Deacon John, you ready to do it? Let's do it. All right. This is called Call Everest. I haven't <laughs> added on a chorus. You guys haven't seen the chorus yet, but we'll sing it together. <laughs> I just added it before a call, you know, just to spice it up a little bit. <laughs> All right. Let's have some like fun. Like out or something. <laughs> All right. Jonathan, ready to do it? Yes, sir. 
All right, let me uh, slide this a little bit. Okay, go ahead, give it a shot. Protect your family from the burden of having to arrange funerals with the organ. At least take the time to pre-plan which version that you want to use when the time turns certain. Got to be precise like the hands on a surgeon. If you need a will, wrap it up like a turban. When those times come, even though you feel weak, just think about the highest mountain peak. Call Everest, 24 hours a day, reach a specialist. Eliminate confusion and simplify the process. We campaign every day like pro protectionists. Call Everest. Yeah, that's call Everest. And then who's got your back like Everest does? Don't procrastinate and just do things just because. <laughs> Strategize for your family so they don't lose. Everest concierge is the go-to move. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right. So that's the, this is a one-time rehearsal. So if you guys can <laughs> take, a, take a screenshot if you need to, but I'm going to leave it up there. Okay, here's, here's my part of wisdom. Access the specialists around the clock. Consumer advocate, and it just don't stop. Good to know what to do when nature knocks on the door, but who's that laying on the floor? World caving in, can't avoid it no more. Everest is there when you're shook to the core. What more can you ask for when you're hit with emotion? It's like the world starts stop spinning. Next comes the commotion. You need the plan to arrange, but have all these feelings. Everest lets you focus on comfort and healing of your family because tragedy can often overtake you, but expenses with no planning can also often break you. And then again, of course, who's got your back like Everest does? Don't procrastinate and just do things just because. Strategize your family so they don't lose. Everest concierge is the go-to move. <laughs> okay, and then Global G13, Global G13, give it a shot. It all comes down to choices, the concierge. Service as a family rejoices that they have the funds to help with costs, and now they have time to bereave the loss of a loved one. So even if you're out of sorts, online tools like Price Finder Report, with all, with will prep tending, you're not remembering access anywhere, regardless where you are attending. The storage cloud is never ending. Claim, claim, claims paid, you keep moving. <laughs> claims paid two to three days. IA American is sending. For more information or whatever you need, 6 p.m. Pacific, Friday, May 14th. Yeah, that's how it is. That's how it is. And then again. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. Yeah, yeah. What'd you, what'd you think, Mama Macronita? You think we we, we yeah. doing it? I like it. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Now it's going to be chaos because now I'm going to drop the beat in there, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so you know we read it you know we'll try to stay on beat as good as we can Chester what you think, Chester, what you think? <laughs> I think if uh, WFG don't work out you know um, you know we can always just uh, make an album you know we can we can do it that way <laughs> <laughs> either way right either way okay all right so we, we got a shot at it and then um, here go the beat right here let me share the screen again and get uh, get Jonathan on there first Okay, you can hear it, Jonathan? Yes, sir. All right, I'll try to scroll. I can lead you in if you want. Go ahead. All right, let me see. Check Get your family from the burden. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. All right, let's go, let's go. Here we go, right, I'll lead you in, I'll lead you in. I see somebody else trying to lead you in. Here we go, yo. Protect your Check family, your family from, the from the burden of having to arrange for the roles with the organ. organ. At least it takes time to read plan with the version. You want to use when the time turns certain. Gotta be precise like the hands on a surgeon. If you need a will, wrap it like a turban. When those times come, even though you feel weak, think about the highest mountain peak. Call Everest 24 hours a day, reach specialists. Eliminate confusion and simplify the process. We can paint every day like a protectionist. Call it rest. Here go the chorus. One, two. 
who's got your back Black like ever is does. Don't procrastinate, just do things, things just, just because. because. Strategize for your family so they don't, don't lose. lose. Everest concierge is the go-to, the go-to move. move. That's a specialist around the clock. Consumer advocate and it just don't stop. Good to know what to do when nature knocks on the door, but who's that laying on the floor? Your world's caving in, can't avoid it no more. Everest is there when you're shook to the core. What more can you ask for when you're hit with emotion? It's like your world stops spinning, next comes the commotion. You need the plan to arrange, but have all these feelings. Everest lets you focus on comfort and healing of your family, cause tragedy can often overtake you, but expenses with no planning can also often break you. Like Everest does, don't procrastinate and do just things just because. Got a job for your family so they don't lose. Don't Everest lose. concierge is the go-to. go-to move. Move. Yeah. All right, Jada, you ready? You ready to do it? I'm ready. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, Jada. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. It all comes down to choices. Concierge service as family rejoices that we have the funds to help the cost. And now you have time to bereave the loss of a loved one. So even if you're out of sorts, all my tools like Price Finder report with all the you're not remembering, right? Access anywhere, regardless of where you're attending. The storage cloud is never ending. Okay. Claim space two or three days. I American is sending. For more information of whatever you need, 6 p.m. Pacific Friday, May 14th. Yeah, 6 Pacific Friday, May 14th. Who got your back like ever? Don't procrastinate it. Just do things just because. Strategize for your family. Don't move. Never risk. Don't move. Got your back like ever. Don't procrastinate it. Just do things just because. Strategize for your family. So they don't move. Ever less concierge than the move. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Definitely not a rapper. <laughs> oh, man. Nice. That was fun. Man, it's always fun. It's always fun. Yep, that's how it is. That's how it is. You know, I got the horn. So that's how we close it out right there. <laughs> That's the whoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> Y'all have a blessed evening. Yes. Thank you for joining. Thank you too. Okay. Thanks Hopefully. for the invite. Yep. Happy Mother's thank Day. You all. Keep learning. Keep uh, promoting Everest. And then hopefully on Friday, we see everybody there. We try to get it there for Militia. So we'll see what Absolutely. happens. Okay. <laughs> see you guys right, next Monday. Y'all. Y'all have a great night. Okay. All right. Have a good night. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night.
Thank you.